Hey everybody, Mark here with iHopeTech on Twitch videos, and today I'm going to do the unboxing and review of the iHome Sports Sleeve. Let's get started. Taking a look around the box, you can see at the bottom it says it is compatible with all iPhone and iPod Touch models. And it also has a breathable construction for your arm. And it mainly is built for the iPhone 5, but it will support both of them. At the top, you can see that it shows you again the compatibility and it just gives you a list of what it's compatible with and it is designed by iHome. And on the side, it shows you one of the things you can use it for. After we cut the tape around the sides, we can crack this open and see what we get inside. Taking a look around the sleeve, you can see that it has your big touch screen for your iPhone. On the opposite side, you can see that there's holes for your sleep wake button and on certain models, the headphone jack and on the bottom, there might be a headphone jack and you can also get your microphone. To open it up and get things out, all you have to do is pull the flap up at the top. A nice little feature is the keyhole on the side where you can put your house key if you're going to go running. On the inside is a very sticky rubber material which will grip your arm very good and you won't have a big chance at all of anything slipping if you tighten it up tight enough when you're running. By the keyhole you can see that there is an A and B where you can choose your slot for your velcro strap. To insert your device all you have to do is pull up the flap and stick your device in and then just pull the flap back over to keep tuck it in and keep it safe. And you can turn it over and it is touchscreen compatible. Taking a look at the ports you can see that you have full access to the sleep and wake button. Now on the opposite side there's nothing because this is an iPhone 5. You have your microphone port opening and the opening for your headphone jack. Even though it supports the iPhone 5, it also supports other models of iPhones and iPods. And one problem is that it's mainly made for the iPhone 5, so your device will shift around in it if you're running hard. As you can see, the iPod Touch I have in here is using a case. So this pouch does support a case, some cases, but not all of them. Here's an example of the case it does not support. This is the life-proof case on my iPhone 5S and it is very bulky that it will not fit. So you need to remove the case before you put it in. One thing that I noticed is that on the side, the plastic covering is coming out. So I don't know if this is a defective or model or not, but I'll be in touch with iHome and see what they can do. When I was running with it, I did not have any problems with it slipping off, mainly because I had it tight and tight enough and also the grips on the inside, which I talked about earlier, making it that it stuck to my arm and I didn't have any problems with it at all. One of the things that I liked was the extra padding cushion on the strap so my arm didn't hurt at all and I could wear it for non a while non-stop without hurting. Overall, I like this. The only problem with it is that it mainly supports the iPhone 5 with a 4-inch screen, so smaller screens will be more likely to move around if you're running in it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you like this video, be sure to click this like button and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.